Hey, who are you? Nah, I'm just joking. Hey guys, what's up? It's 8 -Bit Eric. I'm back with the Switch backlog. I got Shoe In. A Shoe In Shoehorn? I don't know. Shoe is a platforming game that has a neat, kind of colorful, drawn aesthetic. I don't know how to describe it. Let's go ahead and check it out today in today's video. So I've played through the first world of this game. Every world has a few levels in it. The basic premise is you control this character and you run through the stages avoiding obstacles and stuff, collecting these jewels. You'll run across people like Okoro, who's this guy, who have different powers and abilities that help you cross the levels. His ability is he walks on water. He's a regular everyday Jesus. I'm talking not Jesus, Jesus, the Mexican version. So you jump over the water, you avoid those big vines and stuff. That's a checkpoint. You get to the checkpoint and basically that's, you know, the whole premise of it. Now we're fixing to run into another character in a moment that has a different ability, but each stage is nice. The first level was more of like a desert area. This one's like a jungle. Here's Keela who can do a Ninja Gaiden style or Batman style wall jump. And yeah, so I honestly am pretty amazed with this game, not just because of how it plays, it controls wonderfully, has really great, easy to pick up controls, which is first and foremost, the most important thing, but the overall presentation, the music, the design, the level design, especially, because look, your main character does this float. When you see wind, you could do that, but the level design is top notch. Everything is very creative the obstacles the design everything awesome but what turned me on the most about this game as i die is the artwork now i got a press kit that i shared a video unboxing it had a concept art book and i saw all sorts of artwork for this game and the fact that the artwork was really really worked on heavily impresses me for an indie game because a lot of indie games let's be honest don't have that great of artwork, but Shu definitely did, and it plays well. That's like two birds with one stone. Um, if you are into platforming, especially difficult, challenging platformings that have a lot of stuff to collect in them, I'm just going to come out right out of the gate and say that Shu is definitely a forerunner for a game that I've just totally came out of nowhere and impressed me. Like, take a look at all this stuff right here. Um, very challenging too. Uh, this ain't my first playthrough of this level. I keep getting stuck on one part, which is actually coming up because it takes a lot of skill and agility. This is some of the best platforming I've seen on the console. A lot of these games are like retro indie consoles, as I touch the thing. They, they're like retro indie games. This one's not. This one has, you know, classic platforming in it, but it has a neat design we don't see too many creative artistic designs out of retro styled gameplay so that's also another thing that directed me towards checking shoe out is the way that it looks and each level it has a lot of stuff to do in it they're really really long design stages and just when you think you know the answers it changes all the questions the stage before this had three different characters one that could like stomp through ground one that has like a rhino, kind of like Donkey Kong Country and stuff. So, so far the game has constantly brought something new to the table. Am I playing, you know, that far into the game? No, this is only the second world. But I've already been hit with a variety of different challenges, different stuff. And to me, you just, you know, no amount of gameplay can, uh, can make actually enjoying it. Where, you know what I mean? Like you to enjoy the game so quickly is priceless in my opinion. And sure, it sounds like I'm sucking shoe off a little bit right now, um, but I'm not gonna lie. I knew seeing the, the tr trailer to this game that I was in for a treat the moment I played it, and I wasn't wrong. You ain't wrong, as our catchphrase says. So I'm going to play through this world show you guys just a nice little tidbit of it because i really don't want to spoil the game for you guys i don't want you guys to see a good chunk of the game i just want to be able to give you guys a clue exactly what this game is i know my other buddy rgt85 my switch trio buddy 
also did a video on this. He had good things to say about it. I have good things to say about it. I haven't seen too many people say this game is bad because you know what? It's not. This is actually a very fine produced indie tile. And I give my recommendation, especially if you like platformers like this. It's not a roguelike. It's not, you know, a retro styled game. It's something new that I, I haven't seen too much of on the Switch. And it's it's cute. It's quiet. It's quaint. There's no, there's not too much in wave enemies. It's mostly just obstacles and uh, making your way from the end of the stage to the end. So you see that one. So, you know, pretty good, right? I don't think it's too bad. So far, you know, collected 398 at 546. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. So you can go to the next level. I'm going to go ahead and play through it just for you guys. Uh, just so you can get a, a feel of what Shoe is about. It's a really cool little name too. Shoe. Like Shoe. So this is called Rooted in Danger. Sounds mysterious, don't it? So here we go. So... These stones activate the water level, which in turn really gives the stages like a real huge expansive feel. The backgrounds look awesome. Everything just looks like a watercolor painting, to be honest. And I dig it. I'm, I'm a sucker for artsy stuff. Call me a regular everyday Picasso. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to be entertaining and not boring on video because, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm not funny, right? So, yeah. Oh. Ninja Vanish. Here we go. So, I am breezing through these stages. That's usually how I play these games. I can't get the Sonic the Hedgehog out of, out of my brain. This doesn't play anything like Sonic, though. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh shit. I barely touched that. I messed up. I messed up. So, let's do this jump. Let's glide to our safety. There we go. So, bada boom. Oh shit. So every once in a while you get this thing that says run and it has this big scary monster that just chases after you and it is absolutely terrifying. I screwed that up. It is absolutely terrifying. Sometimes I panic. I definitely panic and you will too. This is definitely the scariest thing about the game. Um, he definitely comes after you too. He don't play around. See, look. He's coming after me pretty good. Gotta avoid him. Ah, I messed up. Oh, no, I didn't. I'm still alive. So there is multiple branching paths to the stages in the games, as you can see. Oh, I, I am sweating. I am sweating, guys. You guys have no idea. I'm sweating. It's my wedding. Nah. All right, here we go. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Here we go. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. There we go. Checkpoint. I mean, that you that alone, that big ass enemy right there is a perfect example of the artwork in this game. And that this little these little runaway things happen out of nowhere. And when they happen, it's like holy moly. You know what I mean? Uh, I just killed myself on some thorns. It's really like you don't really get. Oh, did it again. You really don't get too much time to react in some of these places. And to me, that's actually the fun in it. Holy cow, he's actually coming after me. He wants to eat us. I have no idea what he's doing or what's going on. Uh, but he's he's. This will challenge your platforming abilities, as you can see. Holy smokes. Let's do it. Let's see if I can get through this. This is challenging your... Here we go. So this will put all the years that you've put into games like Mario and all that to the test. I can tell you that much. It's a lot of fun. Am I there yet? Nope. Holy crap. He's relentless. He's worse than some girls that I've dated. Don't want to go there. All right, let's do this. Come on.
Whew, I did it. I did it. So yeah, guys, this was just to give you a general idea of, of what shoe is. Not bad, right? So in regards to shoe, I think it definitely has impressed me out of nowhere. As far as originality goes, the way the game looks, the way it plays, the way that there's a variety of different characters, the art, everything about this game screams tender love and care. And when a game has passion behind it, I could definitely get behind that. And I think Shu plays good enough to where I will highly recommend that you guys check it out. Hopefully I showed you guys enough of the game to let you guys get a ballpark if this would be something that you would be interested in. I'm sorry I couldn't do a full-fledged review at this time. I'm completely backed up on games. But I'm just trying to show you some of the Switch games that I've been playing through recent weeks. And Shu is definitely a worthy contender for you to play. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys very shortly. Peace out.